So in this video, we want to find the rational function with the following um, attributes. x-intercepts at 0 and 1, vertical asymptotes at x equals 2 and x equals 4, horizontal asymptote at y equals 3 fifths. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this information to build our rational function. First off, if we have an x-intercept at 0, that means x has to be a factor of the numerator. If we have an x-intercept at 1, that means our other factor must be x minus 1. There could be other factors that might be a constant in there based on the information we give, and if these are the only two, actually, uh, no other factors, but it could be a constant in front. We'll talk about that in a second. Similar, the vertical asymptotes come from zeros in the denominator. So if x equals 2 is a vertical asymptote, x minus 2 must be a factor in the denominator. If x equals 4, you guessed it, x minus 4. Now, what we have is a rational function that has x-intercepts at 0 and 1, and vertical asymptotes at 2 and 4. Last thing we have to do is the horizontal asymptote at 3 fifths. Remember how we look at this. If the power is greater on top, then it goes to infinity, the power is greater on bottom, it goes to zero. Now if we look, we have a quadratic on top, because x times x is x squared, a quadratic on bottom, x times x is x squared. That means it goes to the ratio of their coefficients, which right now is one over one. So currently this thing has a, a horizontal asymptote at one. So all we have to do to make it three fifths is basically multiply it by three fifths, and now we have a horizontal asymptote at three fifths, and we have our rational function.